Hello everybody, it's Kidzy Max here, but soon we are going to have our name changed and we have a special guest with us, Adam LaGuff, which we'll be showing later in the episode. So, uh, first let's just ask him, Adam, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Alright, that's great. Uh, so let's get to the real news. First, what we got to tell you is, this is going to be all the time. We're going to have multiple videos every day just talking about this league. Two shoes have just been released. And I know we're going to get into the OP miles and all that stuff later. The two shoes have just been released. So let's take a look. Right here are the Daemon 1. They were made for Daemon Wilcox. These are the Clippers colors right here. So, um, Adam, what do you think about these shoes? Well, sir, I've talked to plenty of people inside the NBA community, and they have all told me that this is on the outside. They, they told me that on the outside it might not look like a beautiful shoe, but they told me on the inside it's really a great shoe. They say the traction is great. There's a great cushiony feel inside of it. And if you look at the, um, if you look at the shoe, and if you look at it when people are playing, it actually doesn't look bad either. I actually like the shoe. I like the thing at the. Um, that goes across the shoe that's towards the toe. I think that kind of represents Damon Wilcox because it goes down up. Kind of represents Damon Wilcox, his rise from not getting like any division, not getting any like scholarship offers, having to go to a Juco college and Norfolk State and just all that stuff. I feel like it really just represents that. And if you look at the Damon, you look at just the regular black white version. I love that too. It's the like, it's kind of like a uh, Jordan shoes you see, but this is 2K. 2K is trying to start something new, and um, Damon is doing a great job. This is a great shoe, and he and Darren are definitely going to help this out with their great marketing schemes. Well, thank you, Adam. I have no problem believing it's a beautiful shoe on the outside and the inside, and 2K is just so great at making beautiful shoes. There are just so many great shoes that are made by 2K. I mean. Two K's really on the rise, don't you think, Adam? I know. Okay. Um. Now here are the D little ones right now. Um. I know the D little ones. They may look a little weird, kind of like Easter egg feel. But what I really like is the D little statements. The D little statements to me are actually absolutely beautiful. I don't know about other people. I want to hear your opinion. But I really love the D little statements. I'm gonna look at the Clipper version in a second. Uh, I like the Clipper version too. So just that white in the back, I really love that. Adam, what's your opinion on this? Well, just like I said before about the Daemon, it also feels great in the inside. And hey, I'm gonna walk away a little bit. I hope you guys <laughs> don't mind this, but so I can look at my uh, thing. When I look at the D Lu, the D Lu, uh, the regular just D Lu one. The kind of kind of an Easter egg vibe. I see what you mean. That is super flashy, and I know a lot of people who like flashy. Personally, I, I mean, I don't know what other people are gonna think. The shoe looks just with the blue collar over the yellow lightning, because this shoe was made for lightning, and it really fascinates me because lightning versus 2K. Lightning hasn't done anything. The way 2K has been on the rise, I bet lightning. They think they can rise too. So this is a a great start. They got this beautiful shoe. Um, but that's not even where it is. I think, in my opinion, the D. Lou statement are the most beautiful shoes from Lightning yet. Those are just, ugh, I could just stare at those all day. I can't wait to see Darren Lewis and Damon Wilcox because they're on the same team. I personally cannot wait to see them go play in those shoes because with the D. Lou statements, the Lightning symbol, that's really going to be great. And that's really going to be symbolic because I really love, it's like the three stripes, but it has a continuing and it's not the three stripes because three stripes goes like that. Three it's just incredible. It has, I love how the whole like toe part of the shoe, you don't see the base. You see red, you see black, you see the white midsole, and then at the bottom there's a black outsole. So it's just incredible. Um, the black collar overlap and the black lightning, I really think they got that right. I didn't like how they had the color collar over, over the other collar. They also have the red heel in the background along with the red heel sandwiched in between by the black and the white with the white continuing from the midsole and they still have the outsole at the bottom so it, the back looks beautiful. It looks beautiful from the front. It looks beautiful from all angles. It's a comfortable shoe. 
the stars. I keep forgetting. The stargazing. That, that stargazing base is great. The I love the dot. The dot tongue. If you look at the clipper, all they really did to, from the clipper to the statement was add the blue in the back, but it's really great. I really do love it. It's just beautiful shoe. And not to mention, I also forgot about the overlay. They really do a great job of blending the overlay, so not making it look like really, really out there, but still making the overlay look really nice by having it, that design. But they have it black, and, you know, I really respect the shoe. It's a great, great shoe. I just... I, I, I'm about to, I, I'm really about to go to the store and buy the shoe right now because it's just a great shoe. Well, Adam, it's freezing right now, so I had to put on this cover. I'm sorry, but um, I was wondering which shoe you think is better. I know this is a tough decision because, I know this is a tough decision because the feeling statements are just so beautiful. And it's really giving the lightning off to a great start. The Daemon one, also really beautiful. I want to know which one you would give it, which one you uh, give the hand to, and the grades you gotta give it. It's grade time. So, Adam, time to put you on the spot. Grade time. Let's see what you got. Well, I'm freezing too. It's this type of season. The summer is really cold, so I'm freezing really too. Uh, so, I had to put this towel on. Uh, if I were to pick a shoe, I like the Daemon one with the Clippers colors. I also like the Daemon, just regular black, white, red. Uh, I really do like that shoe. I know others might not like it, but the cushion, you gotta keep it fact, the cushioning, the traction, not just the look of it. And the look of it is beautiful too. So I gotta give that shoe. I'm not gonna give it an overtop because I know there's a lot of great shoes for 2K already. But I'm gonna give that shoe a solid 7.5 out of 10. Now for the d lose if you look at the d Lou Easter eggs, that alone brings its grade down. I love it, but I hate it. It's, I know a lot of people into Flash are going to love that shoe. But no offense to that shoe. I don't know what it is about it. It's just not appealing to me. It kind of looks like Thrower. But when I love it. That is all. i got to give the shoe an 8.5 out of 10. Or an 8 to an 8.5 out of 10. Just so beautiful. Going to buy it right now. See you. There you have it. Darren Lewis just signed with Lightning. Damon Wilcox signed with Light. Damon Wilcox signed with 2K, sorry. Already signature shoes. Beautiful signature shoes. But we gotta go with the D Lou one over the Damon one. Thank you guys for watching. It's Kids Max. Peace.